Hi, uh, I'm Bob Rhodes, and I'm talking uh, with Professor Dean Fennell, the incoming president of IMIG. And as we approach the uh, end of the uh, meeting, uh, Dr. Fenning, just kind of one question for you. What do you think has been the best of IMIG this year, both in the context of uh, social activism and also the science and clinical studies that have been presented? I think, uh, you know, this IMIG represents really an exciting um, position for us in terms of the science of how we treat this disease. Um, we've really not seen a change in the standard of care over the last 12 years or so. And what we're beginning to see is you know, really some exciting signals from new approaches for treatment. Mm -hmm. So for me, the, the highlights, I think, are around the antibody-directed conjugates. Um, these are the treatments which Rafit Hassan, Ira Pastan have developed with the uh, mesothelium-targeted um, uh, treatments, uh, which appear to have some very significant activity. We've also seen um, small molecule activity in the likes of the focal adhesion kinase data, which Rafael Bueno presented, mm -hmm. very tantalizing data, which suggests that the, um, the, the approach of targeting focal adhesion kinase may have some significant activity in mesothelioma. And of course, we have randomized trials ongoing, so you know, that, that gives us hope that there may be something mm -hmm. seen there. We've also um, got a major challenge um, for patients in the relapse setting. We don't have any standard of care currently. But, you know, we've now for the first time completed large randomized trial in the uh, second line setting. Um, the accrual of the big determined study has now ended. Now, we've not seen the data here, but this is immunotherapy, and this represents perhaps one of the most exciting areas for me. We've had a lot of talk about immunotherapy for many years, and we're now in a new era. There's no question about that. And um, whether or not immunotherapy has a place uh, in mesothelioma, I personally think it does. I think the evidence is very clear that we're seeing signals um, and uh, we'll see perhaps next year or the year after uh, whether we can get new standards of care uh, in the immunotherapy domain. Mm -hmm.